And we are at the first day of the 2017 Xerox Rochester International Jazz Festival with a good friend of ours, Mr. Wilm Simcock. Welcome back to Rochester. Thank you very much. Nice to be back again. And thanks for bringing the uh, weather from England as well. Yeah, yeah. I thought I'd just bring it over and, you know, we're used to this. So bringing you down to our level. Appreciate it, as always. Because <laughs> if we get enough rain, it is already. So, my friend, last time you've been here, what's been going on in your life and world? Well, uh, I've spent quite a lot of time last year playing uh, with Pat Metheny and his new quartet, so that's been a real privilege, really touring all around the world and getting to play to a lot of people and, and playing with one of my absolute heroes that, that got me started in jazz in the first place. So that's been a really, really emotional experience and something that I've really, really enjoyed and certainly felt I've learned from and grown, hopefully, as a musician as a result of. Well, I'm talk about when you got the call from Pat, what was going through your mind in terms of, like, this is actually happening to the time you stepped on the stage and this has happened. <laughs> <laughs> well, it kind of started off about uh, maybe five or six years ago. I just got an email from him out of the blue um, saying uh, that he'd heard some of my music and that he was a, a big fan and hoped that we could work sort of one day together. So I kind of got this email first thing in the morning and I was dancing around my living room really excited because his music really was responsible for changing the course of my life when I was about 14 or 15 years old from from doing a kind of classical concert pianist career to doing something you know that, that joins jazz and, and classical music together and then we kind of occasionally kept in touch and then a couple of years back in 2014 he sent me an email saying oh, I'm playing in London with my group would you like some complimentary tickets to the show? And I sort of wrote back and said, yeah, of course. And, and I thought, well, you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I said, is there any chance we can maybe have a, a play while you're in town? And I, I didn't really expect him to say yes, of course, but then he really kindly kind of altered his travel schedule uh, to make the time for us to, to play for a few hours together in London. And now having been in the band and, and seen how, you know, epic his touring schedule is, I'm even more kind of grateful that he made that, you know, afternoon for us to play together. And then it kind of escalated from there, really. He sent another email a little further down the line saying, oh, what are you doing in January and February or something like that? And yeah, so it's been a kind of, as you say, being on stage doing it, I still can't quite believe it, really. It's kind of keep pinching myself. And especially this tour, we've been playing a lot of his greatest sort of hits, really. So playing all these famous tunes that I love and have heard a million times and then realizing that you're part of it, it's just a real privilege. We're speaking to Wilma Simcock here on Member Supported Jazz 90.1. That being said, now that current band is yourself, of course, Pat, and uh, also Linda Oh is in that organization as well. So what's it like playing with Linda? Linda is an absolute sweetheart. She's just fantastic to, to be around and to play with. Her. Myself and her started at the same time in the band, so we were kind of the new guys. So um, I think we kind of tried to help each other along and getting used to our roles in, in the band. And Antonio plays drums who's incredible of course and he's been doing it for 11 or 12 years now so um, she's just brilliant and she's such a light kind of happy personality and you really need that I mean we go away sometimes for two months on tour and and that is a long time you know even when you're with, with nice people like to keep keep the spirit positive and keep going is tough and she's just brilliant at keeping everyone up as well as of course being a phenomenal bass player so yeah, that small little detail never hurts either yeah, <laughs> yeah it kind of helps <laughs> speaking of Wilm Simcock here on Jazz 90.1 playing two shows tonight at Christ Church and again thank you so much for taking jazz further with your amazing artistry Oh, that's very kind. I mean, I, I, it feels like such a privilege always to, to, especially to come to a different country and, and that people would turn up and come and listen to your music. And I've never, that, that kind of feeling of, of fortune has never felt like it's, it's worn off for me. Every time just getting on the plane and coming somewhere else and that people would want to hear the music that you make is a, it's a huge privilege. And the, the audiences here in Rochester, are, I think, are famously known for being really appreciative and enthusiastic and knowledgeable about their music. So to have the opportunity to have come back here a couple of times is, is really really mega. Thanks so much.